standard semi-final action now as Emerson Lardy at the top of the screen battles Felix Stenitzer at the bottom. Uh, whoever wins this match is going to be taking on Bob Debenise in the grand final to find our standard champion. Uh, we can look at Felix's hand now. He's been on this this deck pretty consistently, as has Emerson with his deck. They've played both players having played this deck um, through most of the season. Emerson's on the uh, blue blue I think it's called blue white auras deck. Uh, I'm not sure where Felix got his from. Whether he brewed it himself or not, it's a green white tokens deck. As he starts out with Legion's Landing. Appeal to Authority uh, is going to play a big part in this match. We'll see that later on. Uh, immediately, the Sky March is Aspirant getting in there. It's a 3 2. It doesn't have Flying because he does. Emerson doesn't have the City's Blessing yet. Got to get to 10 permanents. You can see in hand uh, for Emerson, he's got the Cartouche of Knowledge and the the god, or not the god, the uh, legendary creature, I forget its name, uh, that, that makes tokens unblockable. Just going to update that standard. Uh, Ether Sphere Harvester is going to come down and put a real dampener on uh, Emerson's ability to attack in the air now. Can, it only costs one to crew and it can get lifelink as well so Danto Vanguard is an, another key card here it can get indestructible but it costs four life to do that the harvester can because of the two energy can get gain lifelink twice Felix here just considering he's, he's on a go wide strategy but you can see here clearly uh, Emerson is wider and Emerson two cards short of uh, getting the city's blessing. Dive down again, so more blue cards without blue sources for Emerson. There's the appeal to authority, so it's it pumps a creature depending on how many creatures you actually have, and on top of that, it uh, can come back from the grave to make two creatures that your opponent has not able to block for that turn. He's not mucking around here, there's no flyers on the other side, so he's going to get in with uh, the Aethersphere Harvester, pump a vampire, pump a servo. Importantly here, this um, appeal to authority, it also gives them, and he's going to bounce back, so tap down two creatures so they can't block. It gives the creatures um, trample as well. So you can see Emerson on 20 life but there's 13 damage coming across here and there's not much on the blocking side legions landing will flip so adanto vanguard is actually going to pay for it. he doesn't realize the ruling from that card he pays four life but four still tramples over so it actually cost him eight to block like that and you can see Emerson down to five. So a very quick turnaround there from uh, Felix. And suddenly Emerson's three cards shy of getting the city's blessing. So he doesn't actually have a flyer to be able to block that Aethersphere Harvester just yet. And he's had enough. He concedes. So we go to game two Felix at the top of the screen this time he's one win away from advancing to the grand final to play Bob de Benice. the usual turn one play from Emerson Sky Marcher Aspirant you can see he's got the blue source in hand this time And he's got a spell pierce, which could be interesting in this match. Uh, Baffling End will take care of the Adorned Pouncer. Again, two more points of damage coming in. He's going to play at the Vanguard and he's going to hold up spell pierce here. So he's in a bit of an awkward position. He probably wants to have a second blue source. Still cannot find it. So if he chooses to cast Curious Obsession he's going to leave himself a bit exposed here he is going to cast Curious Obsession 
Doesn't play a land yet, importantly. Hope, hoping to hit blue, I'm guessing. Give it, he, so he spends a four to give it indestructible. He does not hit the land. Luckily for him, Felix is one shy of being able to cast out. There's a second blue source, but not, not as required now as it was previously. Six, eight. Again, Jade Light Ranger is blocking the Vanguard. Uh, this is to stop the card draw. Curious Obsession only draws you a card if it deals damage to the player. Legion's Landing will net him a blocker. Felix here needing... Uh, sorry, Emerson needing two more to get the City's Blessing so Sky Marcher can fly over. Cast Out's going to get Spell Pierce. That's a good, good target for Spell Pierce. As more damage is about to come in. Again, Felix just denying him that card draw. Here's a Shrum's expertise. He's got nothing to flash in here, unfortunately, but it will provide three blockers. Although three, four, five, six, seven. Now he has the city's. Now that Emerson has the city's blessing, so all but the vanguard can fly over here. And this will be one shy of a lethal attack. Felix drops to five. And there's the trusty Aether Sphere Harvester that can act as a roadblock for that Adanto Vanguard. So he, he's having to think about this. Does he want to play the flagship and do three damage? Or does he want to play the harvester? He's decided to go with the harvester. Because he, he is going to take possibly four in the air if he did not have the blocker. Which would have been lethal the following turn. Uh, Emerson will play out an Adanto. And that set of the wreckage is going to be huge here. You can see he's going to have one, two, three, five people, five coming across with two blockers on the other side. <coughs> so three will get through to be a point shy of lethal. Just thinking, we'll just skip forward a bit here. As they all come in, the five, two, four, five, so three blockers available. Oh, two blockers, sorry. So he's going to trade with one, he's going to take two, four, five, but he's going to gain three life. So that's going to put him to three. Again, Curious Obsession can't draw a card. So he's going to play out the flagship this time, shoot down a flyer. He's got one, uh, Felix has got one more turn of life gain. In turn, a vampire is made with a Danto. Uh, spell Pierce probably a little bit late now when Felix has got six mana available. Again, everybody comes in. There's only one blocker on the other side, and this is his last turn of getting lifelink. So he goes to six. 
Felix drops to two. And he flashes back the adorned pouncer. So he's going. He's going. Actually, going for lethal here. I like this line from Felix. Unfortunately, there's the settled wreckage on the other side. That's a lethal attack right there. Nine damage coming across. The flagship will uh, hit down the flyer, but settled wreckage is going to blow this attack out. And that should bring a concession. Oh no! Actually, he's he's a point short. Okay, so uh, Temet is going to push it through because you nominate a, a token that can't be blocked and it gets plus one, so it'll do the two points of damage. So we're going to game three now. The decider. Who's going to advance to the standard grand final? <coughs> Baffling in to quickly remove the threat on Felix's side. Again, he play, plays out the, second, the same threat. Has that dive down to protect his vanguard here? The vanguard is usually a match winner, but we've seen in the last couple of matches, its downside for Emerson is that he hasn't been able to give it flying. So it just takes the force so enables Emerson to draw a card here. It's a cartouche. He'll play that out so that he can get an extra blocker. Three, four, five, six. So he's up to eight already with regards to the city's blessing. There's a legion's landing. It's actually going to be able to flip this turn. You can see in hand, once he finds that fourth land, Shram's expertise in the Jade Light Ranger is going to be a good one. Actually, yeah, I forgot the Adanto was the third, uh, fourth land. Cartouche giving him plus one in first strike. He's going to play out another Cartouche. So four four coming across here. This is we're in a race now. Jade Light Ranger just jumps in front of him. No draws from Curious Obsession. You can see there's the Settle the Wreckage in hand there. Uh, Adanto here, but Dive Down is a very good response here to protect the Vanguard. Baffling End won't have a target. And there's his old chum, the Aethersphere Harvester, the one that caused so much problems previously. Takes two, passes the turn. Now, this has confused me a bit from Emerson. He, he doesn't want to play out this irrigated farmland for some reason that I'm not really sure of. I'm, you can see they trade here, so it's down to a pouncer versus a vanguard. Plays out his second vanguard. So he's tapped out, but he, he didn't play the irrigated farmland. I, I can't for the life of me work out why, and it's going to prove costly. As uh, Emerson drops to 10, but Shrum's expertise in the Jade Light Range is a nice play here. He will get that appeal to authority. Keep it on top. So we, we can see here that Mr. Land Drop means that he's a turn behind because the farmland's going to come in tapped. Felix might even be tempted just to let this go. He's at 16 life. He'll bl he'll block. You can see he's thinking about it. There is a card draw from Curious Obsession, so he might be thinking, I don't want to let him draw the card. And that's ultimately the decision he takes. Now that land gets played out, as does a pouncer. Felix draws an appeal to authority. And you can see now this play. 
He's got nine on board. This is a very nice finish from Felix here. He bounces it back to remove the blockers. Finish him! Activates Huship Oasis, and that is the win. Felix will advance to the grand final.